Hello everyone, it's me, PPG Planet, and today I will show you how to install Windows XP in 2020. So, you actually have to create a Windows XP flash drive for the USB, otherwise it won't work. I will leave in the description a video how to, of how to create a Windows XP flash drive. So, after you got created your Windows XP flash drive, Plug it into the computer before you boot it up. And then, after you connected it, turn on the computer. Also, I also have to tell you that you have to go to your BIOS. Because you will have to change something. So right here, as you see, where it says SATA mode, you have to change it to from HACI mode to IDE. Because if you don't, then the setup will detect the, U the USB and you won't be allowed to continue. And also, you have to enable the F the boot menu, where actually it allows you to to select the the boot device you want to boot in. And then, after you've done all of that, press the key which I know, which has put you to the boot menu. And then select US the USB this one, and then press enter. And then you will receive this cyan bootleg screen. Select this one, which is the only one which it appears. And then select the number 3, which it says first part of Windows XP Home SP3 setup. And then press enter. And then you will receive a blue screen, which actually it will begin when you load it. And, you, and it's going to do something. It won't take too long. So I'm actually going to pause the video and resume it when it's done. So now I have this screen which is which is welcoming to set up and then enter to continue. And just wait. And then you will receive the screen. Press F A to agree to the end user license agreement. Because if you press ESC, it won't allow you to con to continue with the installation and it will actually exit it. I'm going to pause this video, which actually it's not really necessary to see. So now we are at this screen. Don't touch this, don't delete this one, because this allows you to to install XP. We're, so what we are actually going to do is delete the C, the C drive. So we don't have a, a dual boot. So press D. And it will say that you that the partition you're trying to delete is a system partition. Ignore all that, press enter, and then press L. Now, press enter right here where it says on partition space. And then select format the partition using the NTFS file system on quick. So you will receive the screen it, and it will start formatting the, the, the C drive. So I'm going to pause this video and then... I'll show you what will happen next. It finished formatting the the C drive and now the setup is now copying system files <clears throat> for it to load. So it doesn't take too long, just like three minutes. So I'm going to also skip this part and I'll show you what happens when it finishes. So now that it has finished copying the files it's now going to restart my computer. So just wait the 50 seconds. Or you can just press enter too, so it can be more quicker. And then go, after it restarts, go back to the boot device. And then select USB, the USB again. Select this one, the first one again. And then select this time, second port of Windows XP Home SP3 setup. And then press enter. And then you will see the Windows XP boot screen. So just wait until it finishes loading. We actually haven't installed XP yet because we're actually going to do the next steps. We're actually going to select the files and do the and actually select our time zone, key what we want to put, etc. And you will receive this blue screen. 
Just wait until it finishes loading. Yes, I actually stopped recording and then record again. So you won't actually so because it actually takes a long time to to load this. And then you receive this screen. So and you will have and you will receive this this message where it says that the file ASMS Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 3 is needed. So don't worry, we can fix this. Just press Shift F10 so we can go to the command prompt because we're actually going to do this stuff. So type in disk pot and then and then type list disk. And then select disk zero. Oh crap. I, I messed up. And then type in list volume. And there was a right here on the label Windows XP. So exit the uh, command prompt. So the Windows XP la the Windows XP is on the C drive, so so Remove all this, you don't need it, and then put the letter where it's the Windows XP. Hold on a minute. I had to pause because my one hand won't actually press the shift key and the other hand the the dot the two dots. So then press enter. And then you will receive another message like that. Just keep doing the same thing with the letter which where is the Windows XP. So I'm actually going to pause the video and I will show you what to do next. So now that you have <clears throat> So now you have done everything what I did to you that actually you had to select the 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 drive where it's Windows XP, you will receive this screen. Regional language options. So actually, I'm actually going to customize something. I'll pause the video. So actually, what I did when I paused the video, it was actually that I actually put the Spanish keyboard because actually I'm Mexican, and I actually wanted to put the language. So now type the full name of your company and organizations. Okay. One. Okay, so now you have to type the computer name. So I'm going to type Planet XP. And I need to put the time zone. Just, I'm going to pause the video again to put my time zone. So I actually now put my time zone and then what I told you before that it will appear the, the message again, files needed. Just do the steps that I told you earlier and then you will be done in no time. So it passed ten, like 15 minutes. Now it's almost finishing. And after it finished, you'll receive this blue screen and then your computer will restart. After the computer restarts, <clears throat> unplug the USB other because otherwise it will actually restart setup. So quick. I had to leave I had to stop holding the camera because otherwise I wouldn't unplug it before it started to boot. So you will receive that screen, the one that actually it appears on when Windows 2000 loads. And it will start loading. So I'm gonna pause the video again. So now it has went on black screen. Just wait a minute.
So I received so you will receive a screen with a mouse in it. And then it will instead of having the loading, we'll say instead please wait. So I'm actually going to zoom it so you can see what it says. To improve the appearance of virtual elements, Wonders will automatically adjust your screen resolution. So then click OK. And then it will say that the Windows adjusted your screen resolution. If you can see the text, click OK to continue. If, you, if you're able to see it, click OK. And then, for some reason, the screen actually goes a bit in the center. And as you see, we successfully installed Windows XP. And then you have just to do some little things and then you will log in. Don't mind this part. It's actually I just want to if you were if you are interested to read this, then I will leave it. But if you don't, you can skip the next part. Don't mind this part too. I should want to see what happens when I load it. Okay, never mind. Okay. So like the help protect my PC by turning on automatic updates now. And then type your the username that you're going to be. So mine it will be PPG Planet. And then click on next. And then, and then just click on finish. You will receive another blue screen, but a bit darker. And then you will receive this screen, the welcome screen. And then when you go to the desktop, it automatically opens the window the windows start menu and then you will receive this screen where where it says personalized settings and then after it finishes it will appear the taskbar and then it will automatically Open up the, the star menu. As you see, it actually opened the star menu. So, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the installation of Windows XP. And, and I will see you in, two, in another video. So... See you in the next video. Bye.